want to thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, it's a little bit cold today, but it's definitely a beautiful day to have something go on to one of our rec centers. Uh, this is just a wonderful addition to one of our parks. Uh, by the way, my name is Troy Hauptman. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation and want to welcome everybody for coming out today. Uh, we had some fabulous folks come out and do some wonderful artwork on our building and just really kind of showcases a lot of the diversity that we find in our parks. And we just wanted to emphasize how important our parks are and how much they really ingrain into our community. This is not just a cultural statement, but it's also, also a social statement of what we do in our parks and how important they are. Uh, Council member Cindy Claycomb, this is her district, and she was very integral in putting this all together. Her and several staff from the city, there was a lot of folks that put their efforts together to make this happen. And I'm gonna share uh, the story with, with Cindy. She's gonna come up here and tell us a little bit about the story of how it came to be and, and uh, talk a little bit about the mural. Before I start with my remarks, I do want to recognize a few people that are here. So, Council Member Brandon Johnson is here. Thank you for coming out. Uh, City Manager Bob Layton is here. Thank you for coming out. And I also saw, I think, former Council Member Sharon Fury is here today, too. So, thank you for coming out. And, I, and, all, and all the rest of you, thanks so much for coming out. Um, I am Cindy Clayco. I'm Wichita City Council Member for District 6. And we're here today to officially unveil this new asset for District 6. You know, studies have shown that um, the effect of public art across the board, the effect of public art has a ripple effect of promoting a healthy uh, economy and a healthy social environment. So the mural that we see today was recently painted by Colombian artist Philippe Ortiz and Ivan Salazar as part of the Horizontes project. And the Horizontes project um, was facilitated by local artist Armando Menares. And I think Armando had planned to be here today, but he had to unexpectedly go out of town, and he may still get here, but he uh, was racing back from Oklahoma. But they're facilitating a series of culturally significant murals in both the north and northeast areas of Wichita in an effort to unite underrepresented communities through art. And by doing so, they create pride in our communities, which has been shown to reduce crime and increase social cohesion. Ortiz and Salazar offered their artistic services free of charge. So that was fantastic. And their time and talent have created really just priceless benefits for the city. We also want to thank Grace Point Church, Wichita Public Works, Wichita Parks and Rec, and Sherwin-Williams for stepping up to help this project come to fruition. The Aztec culture is a common theme of the artwork in the Evergreen area. If you look around, you'll see uh, uh, much more of it. And this latest mural depicts the Aztec deity, Tlaloc, who was widely recognized by the Aztecs as a giver of life and sustenance. So this piece brings life to our community and serves as a piece we can be proud in completing together. This is our community, and we all have a stake in its development and its future, and it's up to all of us to work to shape it. So thank you to all of you that had a hand in this project. And I think we're ready for the ribbon cutting, right?